Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of my VIP Masterclass course. I'm Steve Rossay and in today's Masterclass I am going to be discussing successful audition strategies. Whether you are young, getting ready for a youth orchestra audition or an honor band audition, or perhaps you're already at the university level getting ready for an audition within your school or for a professional position, you might be an amateur getting ready for your first audition or another audition along your journey. It doesn't matter. This video is going to be talking about audition strategies for all levels from the student to the amateur to the professional. Now I'm going to break down this video masterclass into two major components. The first will be the overall long-term preparation for you to be ready to audition when that audition becomes announced. And the second part will be getting ready for the audition once that audition is announced and you know what the pieces are and you have a specific date and timeline. So let's now look at this first component, this long-term holistic view of audition preparation. At this point, you do not really need to be thinking about when the audition is going to be. You need to be thinking about what will your next audition be for? What ensemble, what band, what orchestra will you be auditioning for? And then once you have identified who you're going to be auditioning for, you need to identify what will you need to play for the audition and what standard will you need to be to be successful. Once you've identified the ensemble that you're going to be auditioning for, you need to find out what will be required. And if it's a long ways away, maybe there will be no repertoire specified at this point. So what you need to do is A, find out what was required at the last audition for that position. And you can also ask people who are close to that organization or in that ensemble, what do they think would be asked for the audition? At this stage now, you need to write down all the possibilities of what you will be required to play at the audition, and you need to start ordering the music, get it online, buy it, borrow it from people, whatever you need to do, get that music together and put it into a folder. And this is going to be your audition prep folder with all the music that you think you would be required to play at the audition in this physical folder. Now, what I recommend you do is have a physical folder with hard copies and to also have a digital folder. So this can be on an iPad or your computer, whatever. The next thing you need to do is assemble a listening library, for example, a playlist that you're gonna create for yourself. Now this could be in your smartphone, this could be on your tablet, whatever, in a playlist format. And it could also be just a pile of CDs or records. It is very important to have a go-to playlist to be able to sit down and listen to all these recordings one after the other. The next step in this process is with your practice journal, schedule in time to start getting to know these pieces and to also schedule listening time to listen to the recordings. At this time, I also suggest you to get a hold of scores so that you can listen to the recordings while you're following the scores. And when you do that, don't just follow your part, follow the parts of the other voices of the ensemble so you will learn and be able to hear, see, and feel how your part fits into the greater picture of the piece. Now, as you start practicing these pieces in your folder, you need to identify what weaknesses are there in your playing on a fundamental holistic level that might hold you back when you become very close to that audition. For example, is it high playing? Is it low playing? Is it getting smooth? legato slurs? Is it your control of dynamics? Perhaps it might be your sound quality in certain registers or articulations. Anyway, all of those things that I just mentioned, high, low, articulation, etc., they are all covered here in this VIP Masterclass course. So as you prepare these pieces and identify what your weaknesses are, go ahead and visit those videos in this course on a regular to daily basis. Usually auditions are announced three months in advance, sometimes a half year in advance. It's very rare that an audition will be announced where you have less than three months to prepare. But sometimes there's very little lead time between the time that an audition is announced and the date of the actual first round of the audition. So that's now for the second component 
of this audition preparation process. You now know when the audition is going to be and you know exactly what is to be performed. And you've just done your first recorded mock audition through the repertoire. Now it's time to start working on solidifying your mental game because if your mind game is not on point, you are going to struggle to be successful at the audition. I've got a great mental exercise for you to be as successful as possible at the audition.